In this video tutorial, Camera Solutions Certified Technician Hero will walk you through the steps on how to properly clean a sensor and also how to prevent dust from getting inside a sensor as well. Before you start, you need to make sure your battery is fully charged to prevent from shutting down. We will first start with the Nikon camera. First, turn it on to manual mode, then go to the menu and find the toolbar. From there, you can find mirror lockup, hit enter, and then hit enter again. To activate the mirror lockup, press the shutter button once and the shutter will open. In order to not damage the sensor, you must enter into mirror lockup mode. If you use a 30 second timer or the bulb setting, the shutter could come down on your brush and break the shutter. Next, we will show you how to clean a Canon sensor. First, turn the dial to manual. Go to the menu and find the toolbar. Scroll down to sensor cleaning. Press the enter or OK button and scroll down to clean manually. A screen will come up saying the mirror will lock up and to turn the camera off once done. Hit OK. The shutter will automatically open without having to press the shutter button. There are many tools to use in order to clean a sensor properly. This is a sensor loop. It's nice to have because you can look inside at the sensor to see if you missed any dust specks without having to go back and forth taking pictures and examining them. The Eclipse is a good solution for putting on the sensor swabs. Camera Solution cleans every camera with the Eclipse solution because it dries quickly. We sell many different kits ranging in price for cleaning a sensor on your own. For a full frame camera, like a 5D or a D700, you need an edge cleaner because the sensor swab won't get the whole frame. Never use dust off or any sort of dust cleaner inside a camera because dust could get between the sensor and the low pass filter. If you get dust between the two, it is a very expensive repair, usually over $200. Using your sensor swab with 5 to 6 drops of Eclipse solution, slowly go over the sensor starting from one side multiple times. You can also start at the top of the sensor and work your way down. You may do this as many times as necessary until you don't see any more dust. With a full frame sensor, use your edge cleaner to clean the edges. With your loop, you can examine each swipe to see if you missed any specks. After you have finished, set your camera to the highest aperture setting, usually around f16 or f22. If you have a zoom lens, shoot at the widest millimeter towards a white surface or in the blue sky, and make sure the lens is in manual focus and set to infinity. From there, you can examine the file on your computer to see if you missed any spots. A certified technician such as Hero usually spends up to 30 minutes cleaning a sensor, making sure that no dust specks were left behind. In order to prevent dust from getting inside your sensor, it's a good idea to clean the lens mount on the body and the lens mount on the lens with rubbing alcohol and a Q-tip. You may also clean the glass on the lens. Wrapping tape around tweezers or your finger and gently tapping the walls of the mirror box can help keep fuzz out. The dust from the mount could be sucked into the sensor during shooting if these steps are not taken. This concludes the sensor cleaning tutorial. If you want to acquire any of the tools used on this video, please check out our website, www.camerasolutionsinc.com.